Hi, I'm Sandy Botkin, CPA attorney and former trainer of IRS attorneys nationwide. And we're going to be talking about meals and entertainment. This is something that a lot of self-employed individuals really miss. The general rule is that, first of all, the general rule is you can write off 50% of your entertainment as well as 50% of your friend's entertainment if you pay for them. So let's say I take someone out to lunch and I spend $25 on pretzels, hopefully those are good pretzels, I can deduct 50% of that. You report the full amount to your accountant and your accountant takes 50%. There are some exceptions, but that's the general rule. It also applies to other types of entertainment expenses, such as fun and movies and things like that. Now with receipts, you don't need a receipt for entertainment if it's under $75 per expense. That's the key. Now, I tend to keep receipts anyway, but you don't need it, according to the IRS rules, if the expense is under $75, whereas Canadians who are watching this do have to keep receipts for everything. That's one of the exceptions in Canada. Now, what's interesting about entertainment is who are your prospects? Who are people who can do business with you or give you referrals? Almost everyone is a prospect. So if you're not writing off almost every meal you're having with a legitimate prospect, I would like to suggest that you are losing money. And that's the important point. Now, what kinds of substantiation do you need to prove your entertainment is deductible? And this is very important. In the Internal Revenue Code and in regulations, the government requires that you keep a good tax diary or tax tracker, very much like TaxBot, and you document clear and specific discussion for business. It is very important that it's clear and specific. If you simply say the word goodwill, that is not specific enough. If you say the word prospect, that's not specific enough. You want to say things like try to get a referral, talked about a listing, talked about the income opportunity, talked about uh, a procedure that you're, if you're a doctor, for example, you're dealing with a patient. Be clear and specific. That's the point. Secondly, a lot of times people ask, well, can I have lunch and talk with the person next to me in the restaurant, for example? And that doesn't really work. You have to have an appointment arranged in advance. So let's take an example. Simply going to a restaurant and talking business with the waitress is not going to make that meal deductible. But if the waitress lives next door to you, let's say you're a realtor, and they want to, they want to sell their home and they want to buy a new home, and you say, well, I'll meet you at the restaurant, so you arrange to meet them in advance, then that meal would be deductible at 50%. You also have to have surroundings conducive to a business discussion. Now, that means no tailgate parties, no orchestra. People ask me, well, how about a bar? Can that be conducive surroundings? It could, as long as you get a contract signed. You, can have, you have a lot of hard spaces where you can get a contract spot signed, such as on the table, the bar store, even the floor. And finally, you have to document, which we have in TaxBot, and you'll notice it is in TaxBot, you have to meet the five W's and an H. You thought there were four W's, like the four horsemen of the apocalypse. There's really five. Who? What's their name? The IRS wants you to write down their name, and that's true in Canada too. What? Was it a meal? Was it a business gift? Was it a product sample? Who, what, when? What was the date? The good news about TaxBot is that's automatically typed in. Where? I went to Outback Steakhouse. I went to Greasy Lloyd's or Paradise Restaurant. Write that down. Where? Why? This is something that's left out by a lot of self-employed people. Now, fortunately, in TaxBot, you'll see all these things. So you don't have to worry about this. But you want to write down why. I tried to get a referral. Again, be specific. I talked about a listing. I talked about a specific product or income opportunity. Why? And finally, how much? Who, what, when, where, why, how much? Be specific as to what you write down, what your discussion was, and you'll have that peace of mind of never having to worry about an audit again in both U.S. and Canada because your records will be perfect. And that will definitely make your life less taxing.